This week on Storyboard, we are in conversation with Karthik Raman, CMO Aegis Federal Life Insurance on their interest in sports such as running, badminton, football and Paralympics ahead of their marquee running event as a title sponsor in Mumbai this weekend. We have Sharad Agarwal, head Lamborghini India, speaking about what's driving growth for the company and their plans for the festive season. We have Shailaja Joshi, Director Marketing Potato Chips category PepsiCo India, speaking about their innovations launch of Lay's Gourmet and their consumer engagement strategies around the festive season. Hello and welcome to Storyboard. I'm Shibani Gharat. Today we are in conversation with Karthik Raman, CMO, Aegis Federal Life Insurance on their interest in sports such as running, badminton, Paralympics, football ahead of their marquee running event as a title sponsor in Mumbai this weekend after a gap of few years. He's also spoke about the challenges of transitioning from IDBI Federal Life Insurance to a new name, Aegis Federal Life Insurance in the thick of the pandemic key trends in the insurance industry and why more financial services players and banks are associating themselves with the sport of running. Karthik, welcome to CNBC TV 18. Thank you. Karthik, a big uh, on-ground running event is returning to Mumbai after a gap of almost two, two and a half years. Yes. What is the excitement as, uh, you know, the title sponsor of uh, this particular running event and why is Mumbai such an important market? So, yes, we are absolutely happy. Very, very thrilled to have the on-ground event uh, going live after, as you said, two years. Uh, and there's been there's a terrific excitement out there because we've had almost about 15,000 plus runners who have already registered for the event. Hmm. Uh, we are likely to have maybe a couple of, um, you know, we will probably open up for some spot registration. So, we are looking at some terrific turnout. On, on the 21st of August. Yeah. But the excitement has been fantastic. There are people who are calling up, they are really looking forward. At least in the running group that I uh, participate in, there's, there's a lot of uh, excitement. People are really looking forward to being a part of the whole thing. As a sponsor, this is exactly what you want. You, yeah. know, you want people to be talking about the event, you want people to be um, you know, uh, having social media posts about uh, them looking forward to being a part of the event. And as a brand, you obviously get the mileage. And, uh, you know, over the past couple of years, we have seen a lot of BFSIs getting into mm -hmm. uh, this running space and associating themselves with marathons, so whether as a title sponsor and associate sponsor and so on, so on and so forth. So why is it uh, so, why is running so appealing for, uh, you know, brands in the BFSI space, Karthik? 2016 is when we had the first on-ground uh, New Delhi Marathon. That was the mm. first association that we had. Mm. Uh, so as a brand, uh, then we were known as IDBI Federal Life Insurance. Uh, we wanted to uh, hit the road hard um, mm. uh, in, in terms of the brand building exercise. And one of the mediums that we chose very consciously at that point in time uh, was to move away from the way life insurance as a brand has always been positioned in the country. You mm. know, people talk about life insurance as a as, as a medium of, uh, you know, the medium t t chosen by brands is talking about the fear and, you know, the, the things of like, uncertainty yeah. and, you know. So there's a lot of, unfortunately, uh, uh, you know, set of negativity which surrounded uh, the um, uh, industry or the product mm. of life insurance. Mm. And that is something that we wanted to move away from. Mm. We were a new player, literally, you know, fairly new in the industry at that point in time. And uh, if we also chose at that point in time to ride the same uh, sentiment, mm. Uh, we would have probably been um, one of the players uh, mm. making the noise in the mm. in the same uh, and fairly a late in, entrant into the and market. a late entrant. So we would have anyway been killed by the other companies which had very very deep pockets. Mm. So we needed something that was making us stand outside mm. uh, from the regular run. So if everybody was running towards north, we wanted to run towards east, mm. and suddenly you get the attention. And that is when we said. Life insurance is also very good. It's mm. also a very positive product because it mm. helps you lead the life of your choice. Mm. Because it gives you that financial net and takes away the financial worries. Mm. And then you can lead a life which is far more comfortable. Yeah. That is one. Two, we said why health? Because we very firmly believe as an organization that health is the best insurance anybody can have. Yeah. Uh, so it became very simple. It was a no-brainer that we wanted to get onto a platform which mm. encouraged people from every walk of life mm. across various cities, across societies mm. to get an opportunity where they can run at iconic locations, iconic cities, mm. Mumbai, Delhi, uh, Calcutta, Kochi, where we have our marathons. And we wanted to give them a route, an experience which they would cherish. Mm. So where else would you get 15, 20,000 people mm. in a specific 
place hmm. at your beck and call hmm. for at least three to four hours. Yeah. If you're organizing a full marathon, then they are there for six hours. Hmm. You can do your communication. You can reach out to those people. You have their mobile numbers. You have their uh, email addresses. Uh, you have their age profile, you have their general profile. There's enough information that you get. They are the right audience that you have. They are healthy lives. They are the preferred lives from a life insurance perspective. And also, apart from running, you have been associating yourself with yes. different kinds of sports, including football, badminton, Paralympics. So how has that helped uh, your brand? So while, yes, we wanted to also talk about, while we wanted to talk about, um, you know, pushing a healthy and uh, healthy lifestyle to the society at large. Hmm. One of the things that we also wanted to do parallelly was to focus on grassroots uh, level sports. Hmm. Um, so we dabbled a bit with football, hmm. we dabbled a bit with cricket. We had the, uh, the association with Jeff Thompson. Hmm. Uh, we had three uh, bowling foundations, Mumbai uh, Cricket Association, Karnataka State Cricket Association and Kerala Cricket hmm. Association. Also Sachin Tendulkar is your ambassador. Yeah, Sachin Tendulkar is the brand ambassador. I would say the best uh, ambassador for health in mm. the country. Having played 24 years of sport at the highest level, I think there is nobody better than him. Coming back to cricket, Prasid Krishna, who is currently part of the Indian cricket team, is a product of the Karnataka State Cricket Association, mm. trained by Jeff Thompson. So, so we did a bit as far as cricket is concerned, but our major focus then shifted to uh, badminton. Mm. Yeah, because we believe that uh, India has got huge uh, talent hmm. and the talent pool that we have is phenomenal. Hmm. The kind of players that we can unearth from from various corners of the country is extraordinary. Uh, we held a camp, uh, we held a selection actually for uh, identifying talented kids under the age of 11 hmm. uh, to come and become a part of the Pulela Gopichand Academy to train hmm. uh, as young champs with at the academy. Happy to say there are five kids who are training at that point in time. Mm. One of them is the national sub-junior number one in the country. Mm. I believe she would go to become a, a much bigger. But we believe that, you know, if we as an organization are able to provide a platform mm. uh, for youngsters, for the people who otherwise find it difficult to break into mm. or get the right kind of training uh, mm. for them to uh, leverage on the talent that they hold, mm. if we are able to provide a platform, it, it would serve well. Great. Uh, Karthik, so much has changed in the past two years and, uh, you know, at your organization front, uh, you guys changed uh, uh -huh. names yeah. from IDBI Federal Life Insurance to Aegis Federal Life Insurance. Uh, can you share with us what were the challenges to have this transition done, especially in the tough times which we faced in the past two years? So our biggest challenge uh, was not about creating the brand campaign. Mm. Our biggest challenge was to communicate the brand campaign. Mm. Because of the lockdowns, there was hardly anybody moving around. Mm. The consumption of newspapers practically came down to a standstill. Mm. You know, So if, even if I did a front page, full uh, page ad, mm. the newspaper was not being consumed. So it was not helping me. Mm. I, could, I could have done hoardings. Mm. But there was hardly anybody on the street. So my biggest challenge of moving from IDBF Federal to AGS Federal was how do I communicate uh, to the world at large. I think that was the biggest challenge that we had. And uh, how did you over overcome uh, this So challenge? we went berserk on digital. Hmm. Uh, we used all the platforms that were available on digital because one thing that pandemic did was transitioned us overnight to a digitally savvy country. Finally, before we go, uh, what's in store? What will be the key focus areas for brand Aegis Federal Life Insurance in the coming months? The two things that we want to immediately focus upon is uh, digital. Hmm. Uh, we want to get our distribution footprint improved. Hmm. Customer experience is going to be very, very critical. And of course, uh, data analytics, uh, everything else follows. Correct. All the best for that. Thank you so much. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you, Shivani. Thank you so much. It is time for a short break. On the other side, we have Sharad Agarwal, head Lamborghini India, speaking about what's driving growth for the company and their plans for the festive season.